Welcome everybody. I wanted to come out and uh, get some video of the bike rack because a lot of you have been asking about it. So uh, we have a little break in the weather. It's pretty windy out here today, but uh, we're gonna get this done. Hopefully, hopefully the sun holds out. It's uh, it's trying to get cloudy and rainy again. So uh, anyway, let's uh, just get right into the bike rack. I'm going to try to give you as much of uh, the description as I can, and then I'll put some measurements in uh, the description of the video. Uh, and then if you have any questions, just comment and I can uh, maybe answer them for you. So here we are. Here's the rack. I kind of based it off of a Velocirack but I uh, took some ideas from some other racks as well. It's got the loops on it. Uh, I had these particular ones made, uh, but on my old rack, uh, I made them myself. I would definitely make these myself again. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You just have to have a, a metal table and you weld a couple round pipes to it and you just need a torch and heat it up and bend them around. Uh, I used 5 8 instead of 3 8 this time on it. Uh, and everything's built a little bit heavier this time than my old rack because of uh, just the strength of, because of my e-bike. Uh, I was hauling three and four e-bikes around and so we needed that extra strength. Uh, these rubber bands, right here I would not suggest those I still have not found the right uh, thing as you can see right there that one is broken that's what they do this I as you can see I still haven't even uh, painted this yet because I'm not a hundred percent done yet but uh, I'm I put six on this I've rarely ever used six but uh, I think that uh, eventually, uh, like next summer, we will again. And another thing that I did is I put a pivot down here. I used two bearings uh, instead, and that really made a difference. And then right here, this is kind of my safety latch. And uh, I'm going to be on the back side right here. I'm going to be putting a quick latch so that it'll just go up, latch, and then I can put my pin through there. But, as you can see, that spring, it uh, helps so that once you get it, uh, get the bikes on there, it helps push it uh, back up into place. But there's, there's the rack. Lean down. And uh, what I did here, I just have this piece so it can go up and lock it into place. And then I also, I put one of these on it to help so that, uh, I'm gonna try to grab it here. It shakes the whole rig instead of uh, just the hitch part. But I also have, right there is a uh, bolt or all thread. Get the mic up to my mouth again. Uh, there's some all thread right there that goes all the way down and on the back side it's tapered So you just twist that and the tapered piece comes together and locks it into place So between the two of those uh, I have no hitch uh, flex or anything and uh, with these bearings and stuff that's really uh, Made it a lot stronger as well so that's pretty much it without uh, giving you the measurements as of just yet. But uh, we will get this video out and I'll get some measurements for you. Uh, because the measurements I've found that they work really well. Uh, I did use 1x3 or 3x1 uh, square tube and 3x2 for the upright. And of course, you know, that's just a hitch, super thick down there and some miscellaneous scrap from there. But uh, basically, you're gonna have to have a little bit of ingenuity to figure out uh, how to build this. Um, but 
it's a pretty simple basic build so appreciate you watching and i hope this helps and okay so i was trying to do uh measurements and everything and figure out how to explain to you the size of everything so i'm just doing a video so what i did if you can see there three inches on the inside of five eighths so the outside is about four and a quarter and then this is the important part uh, i have 29 inch tires they actually barely fit in there you have to actually pull them in just a touch it's kind of hard to do holding camera and everything but uh 26 and a half inches 26 and a half if you can see that all right that is what the length of those are that is the most important uh, measurement of uh, everything on here uh, I this is also an uh, important measurement these are just over 12 inches apart and I'm trying to remember the angle I put those at uh, it's a, a lot stronger angle than I anticipated uh, on my first track I did less they were hitting it needs to be I think it was about 35 or uh, 40 degree angle uh, so that then we're gonna go for the complete total width I changed that as well it is 70 inches uh, my old one was a little narrower and I wanted to space the bikes apart I think uh, they were only 10 inches before uh, so that that's also important and don't do what I did here and just didn't extend this out you got to have this little piece here so when the tire comes in has something to sit on I had to add that on not that big of a deal and then I'm gonna cap the ends too while we're right here if you can see in there uh, that is a uh, threaded rivet and they make a special tool for that but that's what I did so that I could thread in my bolts so that I had these which uh, are very helpful for this but I'm probably not gonna go with those ever again and I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to use I've been using 12 inch bungee cords and those have been working pretty decently so another pretty important measurement and this depends on your vehicle is the height of the rack these here are about 11 inches uh, off of that which I guess I didn't give you that measurement those are 12 inches long and then the height here my old one wasn't long enough or tall enough so I had to change that the tube is 48 <laughs> the winds catching it but it's 48 inches and uh, I used this is probably heavier than I needed to but I used a 1 and 3 8 inch shaft with 1 and 3 8 inch uh, 2 bolt bearing uh, I used the 2 bolt because they were just a little smaller casing so that they didn't weigh quite as much you could probably go down to a one inch two bolt and be just fine but uh, and then I put this piece of angle iron on there because uh, to cut back on weight from what I had I did this same basic thing right here down here so I took that off and put this instead just to help for weight and then the tube here is 24 inches uh, that I have I just remember that uh, I'm not giving you the actual measurement and then at the end what I did is I cut a 45 degree so that uh, with this which if you notice it's over in a corner and low and it goes down to uh, the same corner and low like that so that you can get a bolt through right here so that you can so you can use that to kind of hold it in place until you get this and your threads in there and it's another precautionary just in case something fails but then my stop 
I used just the 3 8 thinking that would be enough but with the weight of the bikes on it it was bending it down so I had to add these in that was a complete afterthought I would probably change that but I was also going to put a cover over this uh, just to kind of hide it all uh, but that's more weight it doesn't really matter that much and uh, I use this steel right here I cut a piece out and I cut it in half and use that for my uprights that's been holding together very well so that's pretty much it that I have right now for all the measurements for you uh, the rest of it is you just kind of put it up there and figure it out but there you go there's your measurements